Hundreds and hundreds of emails come to me about, uh, about getting surgery. Should I get surgery? I, the doctor, the neurosurgeon, orthopedic surgeon wants to do a fusion. And again, in all respect, I wish I can give everyone a perfect answer, but without proper diagnosis and history, it's hard to, to give you that, that right or wrong answer. But I want to explain one very important thing about disc fusions. Uh, whenever you take a motor unit, which is uh, two vertebrae and a disc in between it, that's called a motor unit, and you isolate that movement within that unit where now that unit becomes restricted because of a fusion. And again, that's just one fusion between two vertebrae and a disc. And there are people out there that might have had two fusions or even three fusions. But obviously in the larger fusions, they put a metal plate, usually in the front part of the vertebrae if it's your, your, your cervical or your neck region. Here's the problem. The weight of the head being 12 pounds has to be stabilized throughout the entire seven vertebrae of the neck. When you have a motor unit that's two vertebrae out of the seven that's not moving, guess what happens? That area is called hypomobility. Hypo means lack of movement. That means that the areas above and below that fusion have to become hypermobile. Means it has to move more to make up for that loss of movement. That's why it's common that people experience further herniated discs above and below, or just maybe one or the other, or both, after a fusion within five years. So all I'm telling you is that please just do your homework, and surgery should be the last resort. But remember, surgery is only medically necessary if there is loss of reflex, loss of motor strength, or significant atrophy, which is like a wasting away of muscles where the nerve is controlling. If it's the neck going down the arm and the hand, or if it's the lower back going into the legs called sciatica, those are the cardinal signals, uh, those three signals. Uh, that's the necessity of a surgical procedure. The majority of people do not need surgery. Now understand, discs, as they go through degeneration, they become smaller, they become less hydrated, they have less fluid in it. That means less compression on the nerve. Stay strong. I'll tell you to, to stick it out as long as you can, let the body do its natural healing, because in the end, you're gonna be a lot further ahead. Make it a great day. I'm Dr. Alan Mandel.